Yo guys, what's hood? Dizzy3 here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of how I do my mix downs in Ableton. And then I'll be giving you guys a free uh, chain that I basically kind of made with some principles of uh, just how to make your sounds louder and stuff like that. But um, so usually whenever I start this, I'll do the kick. <clears throat> um, I'll compress it a little bit and EQ it and I'll come here and I want this to be around like negative 10 whenever it hits it's at negative 12 right now because I had I have effects on it that I did but I was just going to show you guys what it sounds like before the effects and then after them and so whenever I turn all this on, I like it to kind of like, I like it to smack like that. I feel like that's better and I feel like it works better for the sub bass. Um, I could come in here and change this a little bit, make it not so uh, intense, I guess. Now let's uh, kick it a little bit more because I changed the EQ up, I changed a bit on it. It sounds a lot tighter like that. I like that. I mean, it like that. There we go. That's where it was at. Um, and then uh, I have the clap, all three of these claps. I did this thing where like, if you zoom in super close on them, you'll see. I have them all uh, moved a bit back so that way when the kick hits, everything else or everything else ducks for like a split second. You can't even really hear it. But it helps to where uh, it helps when it comes to uh, doing the mix down, so that way the kick really, really hits through. It's like side chaining almost. <clears throat> um, so I have all these set up, and my master is around like not bad so far. Um, at the hats. And, uh, real quick. So before I have everything all also EQ'd, everything on here, all my claps and stuff, they're EQ'd because you don't really want to have all this extra stuff like over here, like that. There's no, you're not hearing anything over there, so all it's really doing is just mudding up the mix. So you can just get rid of all that, really. And like, if you notice, these are at uh, negative 20. The clap is the these. It's because there's three of them playing at one time. So because there's three playing, you have to kind of like cut the volume on them. Otherwise, they'll be too loud if they're all smacked together, especially if they're playing around the same time as the kick. So lower the volume on those. Um, my uh, hat is just like really, really low in the background. I think that really helps because pyrofrequencies, I feel like they don't need to be as loud. For you to still be able to hear them. Also, <clears throat> I forgot to mention this. Um, I highly suggest doing this in mono. I've already done it in mono, but I'm just gonna I'm just saying that because if you do it in mono, most sound systems are in mono, and <clears throat> if you have everything stereo sounding, it'll sound different. Um, 
whenever you hear it on a mono uh, system, something that does mono only, it'll sound really weird and different and it won't, some things won't sound right. So mix it in mono. Um, I can go more into detail on that in another video, but just always when you're doing the mix down, do it in mono. Um, let's see. And now I also have these hats. These, I have them a little bit higher because I want them to stand out with the cape here. Uh, looks like I might have to remix it down. Just, or maybe because of the way the kick is, it's really messed everything. Um, some levels but I mean it looks pretty good so far I usually use a uh, negative 10 as a starting point sometimes it ends up a little louder because I also went ahead and made an entire master chain for it and the video messed up so <laughs> I did a whole bunch of stuff and then I mixed it after I put all this on it so I guess this is the final mix down that I did to it um, but, let's see. And if you look on the hat, it's EQ'd out. Cause like, again, like I said, you don't really want all that extra stuff. It has nothing to do with the hi-hat. Has nothing to do with the hi-hat, so you don't really need that. And then, so my sub is actually really low in volume because I also feel like the sub doesn't need to be near it doesn't need to be that loud because when you have it super loud it makes it harder later on to make everything else loud because the sub is just super overpowering and it sounds really distorted and cringly and yeah you don't really need to make your sub that loud because later on in the very end when it's super loud when you turn everything up the sub, the loud sub, all well, just gets as loud as it needs to be. I don't. I can explain that further in another video as well. But I did something different to it. I like how it uh, has that little uh, that thing on it to make it the pitch duck down a little bit. It's uh, yeah, the semitones. I did like that. I like the way that sounds. And then I also came in and uh, made the made the sub a bit more uh, in depth with LFO tool because LFO tool is really cool. You do some good cool stuff with it. Um, and then all the synths, I had to mix them a little bit to get one to sound better than the other one. Um, I don't know if you remember them, but this one. This one, and then this one. I kind of um, changed that one up as well a little bit. And you play it all together. I usually like to keep my, okay, so yeah, let me go into depth about the synth a little bit. Um, I don't feel like it needs to be that loud. Um, also, I put a compressor on it so it's stuck together. Um, keep in mind, it normally would be a lot louder, but I've already compressed it, so it doesn't need to be that loud. And also, um, let's see, I already put all this on it. So with all this stuff on it, let me just, let's just, See, like how loud it is because I haven't checked it in LUF it's pretty loud um. Yeah, it 
it's pretty loud. Um, it, so it sounds pretty good. Maybe I could bring up the, uh, the control G to group, by the way. Maybe I could bring up the kicks a little bit. I mean, uh, the, the, the snares and claps a little bit. Maybe I could do that. And if you see, there's still stuff on the bottom there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Like, the synth, to me, already sounds really loud. Even though it's at a very low level. Also, that's another thing I would say, like, use your ears. Like, does it sound like it's overpowering or everything? Because, like... Okay, so it's saying like negative sixteen right here, but if I turn this up, it's gonna it's gonna probably gonna be really like overpowered. Right? Actually, no, it actually sounds pretty good. Let's uh, turn it up a little bit. Okay, now, now I want to hear Now, so, I don't really know if this is the best way to do this, but personally, um, let's just pretend that I just, you know, like I made my entire track with that mix down. After I did that, then I would put this on it. And then, like, right now, I would be in, like, final stages mode. But also, sometimes I'll set up the master chain. I'll set up the master, uh... <clears throat> chain in the beginning and then start mixing down like that so that way i know what the finished product sounds like again like i said i don't know if that's a good way to do it or not or whatever but that's what i do and it works for me plus you can always go get reference tracks and stuff like that um 
So again, let me try to go over this. Uh, usually have my, I start by putting my kick around negative 10 and then EQ everything from there based off of how far this is. And I try to get my master itself to not get over negative 10 to get everything to stay around that level. Um, because of the fact that I had multiple claps and snares playing at once, I had them ducked. I mean, a uh, lower in volume and not only that, but if you zoom in, you'll see that they're ducked. Uh, on them. The automation real quick, you can see it right there. Just cut off, cut off. So that way the kit can pass through. Um, what else? Uh, my synths. I usually, oh, okay, so like I have one hat in the background, you lower like a lot lower than everything else. And then I have a one following the kick a little bit higher to give my kick a little bit of transient when it hits. My sub is pretty, really kind of low, uh, negative 20 ish. Uh, and then I keep my synth kind of loud and popping out. I had it low earlier, but I didn't think I could make it louder um, without it getting distorted. Cause right before it was down right here. It was around right here last time, or in the beginning, and now. You can't really tell a difference until you go into the master and turn that on. Like, then if this goes down, like, the sub sounds super loud. And that's the thing, is I could turn the sub down too if I wanted to, and the drums could be just extra loud. I mean, obviously, if I'm doing a real track, I'll go a bit more in depth and make sure that these levels are where I need them to be. Like, okay, so. Now there's like something ringing out or something. That's because I probably made the claps louder. See, that's like around negative nine. Usually I try to strive for complete negative 10. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully that this helps. Um, if you have any questions also, um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, let me know you guys think in the comments.